Now won three straight, and you get a really big opportunity here with Claudia. What does it feel like it's changed for you? Does it feel like things have kind of started to come together for you? Um, I kind of took the sport a little less seriously. I know it sounds crazy, but um, less seriously. I was so occupied with doing the right thing, training for this amount of time, putting my body through all this stuff that I forgot, like, the fun of it, what I really got into it for. Uh, so once I took the pressure off of winning and the competition of it being, like, something that I needed to do or die, it kind of just started falling together. Um, I, my, the first fight I took uh, was a little bit short notice, and I came from 125, so I had a really bad weight cut, and I was doubting if even 115 was possible for me. And then my second fight was a really close decision to Justine, which I thought I won, but then I lost. I'm like, you know what, this just isn't working out for me. And then I told Amanda, I'm like, I'm just going to do one more fight. Whatever happens, happens. If I lose, I'm going to retire. And then I didn't lose. I haven't lost since. Were you surprised to get, the, were you surprised to get this Claudia fight? Um, yes, actually, because the spacing between my last couple fights were like eight months, a year. So I was like, ah, oh, here we go, another year off. And then I posted something on Twitter, and then Amanda posted something like, hey, give me a fighter, I'm going to take time off and have a family. And then two weeks later, they offered me a number three spot, and I was like, yes, please. Claudia mentioned you guys had trained together in the past. What do you recall about that, uh, getting to work with her at uh, MMA Masters? It was literally short. It was like, I think, a round or two in sparring. Um, feel confident about it I mean it wasn't enough to really know each other I didn't really show her all I have she didn't show me what she had um, but I know how big she is I know her distance and you know that's pretty much it talking well, about taking it you know more seriously or less seriously is it fair to say that you were trying to control things that were out of your control before and now you're just kind of letting it happen yeah that's exactly what it was you know you always sit there and you're look like if I win this fight then I can have this fight and then then maybe next year I'll fight and then it never happens so it's like why am I gonna stress out about something that I have no control of so I told him man ah, whatever happens like as of now I'm retired if they call me with something good I'm coming back like and that that's how it's helped when we asked Claudia earlier today about you she kind of Laugh, it's, I don't know, chuckled a little bit and said there's levels to this and effectively said she was going to show you there's levels to this. And I guess I'm just curious for your response to that. She's going to find out there's levels to this too. I've been striking since I was five years old. I don't think she's ever seen the kind of striking that I have. I mean, watching it's one thing and then being in front of it's another. Everyone can watch a fight and be like, I would do this and do this. And then you're in front of the fight and you're like, well, shit, that doesn't work. So, you know, she can show me her levels. I train with the champion, soon to be the double champion. So I'm sure there's levels to that as well. I mean, does it feel to you like there's almost a little bit of a blueprint out on Claudia at this point? Because, I mean, there was a time where she was almost looked at as unbeatable, but she has struggled of late, lost a couple, and then, you know, maybe didn't look the best in the Carla fight. You know, like, I've, I've of course, watched her fights, and I'm, I'm really worried about nothing. Uh, as long as I'm going to do what I'm going to do, I don't think she can stop it. Uh, I, I know there are levels of this. Maybe she's been fighting MMA longer than me. Maybe she's been training something different than me or it doesn't matter you know like i i'm a fighter i've been fighting for a very long time i train with the best fi female fighter in the world and competitively so there's nothing she's going to show me that i'm worried about I mean, you've mentioned help? you've mentioned amanda a couple times now how, how is she doing at, with that move up to the in weight good actually you know like she's not a small 35er so she's a good size 45er she started her career at 45 um she's looking really strong and really sharp so I'm really excited about that fight. Yeah, how much does it help having Amanda train for her fight? You've got Joanna training for her fight at the same card. Um, just having teammates getting ready at the same time. It's always motivating when people are around you are pushing for the same thing you are. Uh, living with someone, sometimes it gets a little stressful, but it's also motivating as well. You know, if one of us decides, like, oh, today, but one of us wants to go and one of us doesn't, we're going to go. So you always have that extra push when, when you, you need to find it. Sometimes the days are, uh, and then you have someone giving you that little extra. It's a lot. Is it almost too much just because you have Amanda training her for, for her fight, but also wanting to help you, vice versa? Does it get to be almost too much or no? Um, no, I can handle it. I mean, she can handle it. It's not our first time doing it. Uh, when she fought Ronda, we actually flew out to Vegas two and a half weeks before the fight, and it was three weeks before my fight. So I did a camp at a gym randomly two weeks before my fight, and it didn't affect that I ended up winning. So it's... You know, it's just how you go into it. You can't let things like that get in your head. It's all head game at that point. These kind of pressure, forward pressure, heavy hitter fighters, people used to be kind of intimidated by them. Now they seem to want to fight them yeah. because they see them as predictable. Would you say that's the case? 
Yeah, I mean, everyone has their own style, you know, and some people will be like, oh, she's not good with pressure, or she does good with pressure, or she gasses, or she, you know, like, I can't look at someone's last fight and predict what they're going to do the next fight. I can't. It, it doesn't make sense. I can't look at someone's record and be like, they lost two in a row, they lost, and then they usually lose it. Like, that doesn't mean anything to me, or they've never lost in Canada, or they've never... To me, I'm, I trained, I'm going to do what I did, I'm going to stay on my, my game plan, and whatever happens, happens. Living with Amanda, have you noticed like a noticeable difference just in her demeanor and personality, having those extra 10 pounds and not having to cut away from a fight that's two weeks away? Uh, yeah, I just have to cook bigger portions, that's pretty <laughs> much it. Where do you <laughs> feel like a win over Claudia puts you in the division? Do you feel like it would warrant a title shot? Uh, maybe a contender fight, title shot, I'll take it, but you know, you never know. You never know when they're going to, I know, after this fight, I'm going to stay ready for the possibility of a title shot or a contender fight. I feel like that, that's what this fight's going to put me. And you mentioned starting a family potentially. I mean, obviously this fight came up, so that changed the course there. Um, how do you, you know, adjust your timeline with the fact that you have this fight now, especially if you win? I mean, that sort of changes things. That's exactly what it is. I'm going on, the, on that schedule. Like, yeah. I'm going to take this career as far as I can. You know, if there's a break in it or maybe an injury, there's so many things that you like. This isn't the first time we've talked about this. We've talked about this for two years now. Obviously, I'm I'm here fighting this Saturday, yeah. so you never know with this sport. You know, obviously, I'm going to be the one carrying it, so it's not going to affect Amanda's schedule as much as it would mine. So it's not like we have to like yeah. timing. Whatever happens, happens. Nina, you know. well, things didn't go your way on Saturday. Is it something you sort of circle back on, or I, I yeah, guess you just, okay. yeah. You know, you mentioned that uh, a win on Saturday gets you maybe at least a number one contenders match. Now, uh, you're, that'll be four straight for you, which would tie you with Tatiana Suarez for the division, longest streak in the division at the moment. Do you see her as a potential opponent, especially for a number one contenders thing? I was actually thinking that she, if, you know, I was seeing, I'm not sure what's going on with the division. I think Rose was injured. She's taking time off. I'm not sure. I think Andrade would have probably been next for that. Or if, you know, if they're waiting long enough, I was going to, I was thinking maybe Tatiana and Andre. I don't really know, but that's definitely a possibility, yeah. Yeah, you seem very Last confident, question. very confident, very prepared. Are you just raring the goal for the Saturday night? I'm more excited than I've ever been for any fight. Uh, the higher level opponent, the, the, the better I perform. So you guys are going to see something you've never seen out of me before. Really quickly, uh, the odds for Amanda, she is a big underdog. Do you guys feel like you're going to surprise a lot of people in a couple weeks? Yeah, I'll put the house on it. <laughs> is this, uh, you know, if you win your fight, Amanda wins. Is this a month that you guys will probably look back on? Is there one of the more significant in your lives, especially career-wise? Um, I guess so. But you could say that it's happened before. You know, when she fought Ronda, when when I got my first win. You know, we we don't look at the bigger thing. We take little things just as important as well. So I can't be like because this is huge. Like because you're going to be disappointed in life if you only look at the big things to be successful. Every little step is something we always look back on and remember. So.